Welcome to Talk Tennis. Today we are doing something brand new and I'm actually very excited about this. Tiffany is joining me and then Brad Singer from Lucky and Love, creative director and founder. I feel like you wear many, many hats. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Tiffany. It's a pleasure to be here with you guys. Thanks so much. Yeah. And today we're going to run through one of your collections. But before we even get started, we're going to just hear a little bit of background. First of all, tell us where you are. Tell us where you're, where you're coming we're in from. We're in sunny Miami, Florida. Yes. And that's one of the, the reasons uh, behind the secret sauce of the brand. You know, we're surrounded, what I call the American Riviera, you know, gorgeous beaches, you know, lively foliage, flowers, color, ethnicity, people, culture. Uh, you know, it, it's a, a diverse city and, uh, you know, it, it, it becomes my inspiration. So uh, we're based out of Miami. Uh, we've been in business for about 12 years. Uh, started off as a young girl's brand and a lot of women started wearing the kids stuff and it was a natural evolution to grow into women's and our women's business has become quite a, a tennis fashion phenomena. Yes. You know, to put it mildly. So, uh, yeah, we're, we, we like to, we like to offer uh, fresh fashion for the sport. You know, we know women love fashion. And so every month you can expect something fresh and fun from Lucky and Love. That's awesome. And I know we always look forward to seeing the new collections. Yes, always and fun. I never want to let you down. <laughs> <laughs> I know also we are super curious. What does it look like and how long is the process from starting the idea of a collection to getting it in the hands of consumers? Yeah, sure, sure. Well, the design process is perpetual. It, it, there's never truly a start and stop. You know, at any given moment, we can be juggling uh, five or six collections. Uh, I wear a lot of different hats. I work with a dynamic team of designers. Um, you know, it starts with, you know, establishing color or print. And you truthfully don't know where you're going to get the inspiration from. You know, it could be um, a little ashtray at a cafe in Paris. It could be um, you know, a, a wall mural, it could be, you know, a history book. It, 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 you really, as an artist, you don't know where you're going to get it from. The goal is just to always say exposed. And, uh, and as far as the, the timing of the process, it, it could take four or five months to really build out collections. You know, it takes uh, a few weeks to establish color. Um, as you see, we have an extensive collection, you know, 18, 19 styles, in each collection every month. And each style has to be a piece of art and unique. We're not one of those fashion houses that takes a print and just takes it and cuts it into a tank and cuts it into a skirt and, you know, and uses it. We, each, each garment is a unique print. Each style is a unique style. We don't do deep color rollouts. So yeah, it's a fashion house, you know, and the design process is, is a timely process, but uh, we, we walk the line between fashion and business and everything's about the calendar. And if you've got a week to pick color or two weeks to pick color, so be it. If you've got four weeks to work on print with the print team, um, so be it. And, and then going all the way down through design, through fit, um, it's a three month process, four month process, uh, from, from start to, to finish. Uh, and, and it, it never stops, you know, it never stops, <laughs> but we love what we do. And I think that shows for sure. Oh, definitely. Awesome. As far as um, not only in your designs for the tops and the different prints and the colors, but also I think the new designs that you've really pushed in skirts in particular. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, we spend a lot of time looking at what's happening in the ready to wear market in the contemporary space. I mean, that truthfully is our design inspo, you know, looking at what's happening in the couture space and saying, how can we translate that for women's sport for, you know, going on the court? Um, and our fabrics are a big part of it. You know, women say they just love our fabrics. Uh, we work with really fine down your yarns. They're not your typical yarns. And uh, they, they say it kind of makes them feel like they're getting hugged you know, in a, in a good way. But uh, the fabrics are a big part of our secret sauce. And, and, and the design, we love layering. We love playing with mesh. Um, you know, we're, I, I use the word flirty a lot, you know, flirty skirts, flippy skirts. We want the woman to feel, you know, attractive. And, and we really walk the line uh, with all the different personalities because you have a woman that is a hard body that wants a very sporty, streamlined look, and we have to give her something. And you've got a woman that likes the layered look or likes the A-line look or likes, you know, wild prints. And so each collection can have, you know, six or seven skirts in it, to your point, Tiffany, and each one is for a personality. And, and that's why Lucky in Love has really, you know, risen to the top. 
is because we're giving something special to uh, anyone from 28 to 88. And it's really about a spirit. And uh, and when they put these skirts on, it just, it feels good. They're all soft knits, easy pull-ons. And so, you know, as far as uh, fit and returns, it's it's nil. It's just, it's a feel good, it's a feel good garment. That's awesome. Let's get into the Santa Fe Glow Collection. My first question has to be, though, have you been to Santa Fe? Did you have you spent some time there? <laughs> I have not. I have not. Uh, one of my designers went went to uh, New Mexico and uh, came back with a bunch of pictures and talked about the you know multi ethnicity and the Southwest food and and the trails and the region and the sun kissed evenings and the in the deep navy you know night skies and we started talking and you know said okay you know there's always a home for that kind of multi ethnic appeal that. Um, you know, kind of cool geometric, and and we kind of grounded that back to you know a poppy pink and a fun flamingo coral, and it kind of breathes life into a rather rhythmic ethnic inspired print. Everything again is engineered, so even if we we're doing engineered prints, they're all designed to be form flattering on the body. You'll see we're always focusing on the vortex. We're always focusing on lines that are gonna make the woman look as best as she can. Um, so we, you know, we, so we started talking about trend and, and what's happening and that's how it came about. The pictures were compelling. The color story was compelling things I was looking at. It's a big art region. Uh, you know, O'Keefe was, you know, coming out of there and beautiful colors and florals. And we take that and, and mix it into ombres, you know, ombres are a big trend. And so the idea that you can take, you know, ethnic inspired prints, mix it with ombres, it's those type of ideas that make lucky and love a little different. Um, so, no, I haven't been there, but it was a compelling photo album and uh, it was enough to kind of say, let's build a collection around it. Nice. I'm going to lean on Tiffany here because I want you to walk us through the collection. I know Tiffany is very familiar with this collection. So maybe you guys can talk about some of your favorite pieces. Bo- you might both have different favorite pieces. What really stands out? Um, who this collection is specifically for? But you've kind of already hit on the kind of women, how there's something for everyone. So yeah, it's a, it's a woman that's, you know, she, she is a fashionista. She, she understands what's happening in women's fashion. She's not scared of taking risk, wearing prints, wearing color. You know, very often we show print with print and it's not for everybody, but it speaks to the fun that, you know, that we like to have as a brand. And it's all about an attitude. You know, when you put this lucky and love on, you do feel a certain way. You are empowered, you are alive, and it's a spirit, you know. Um, Some of my favorite pieces, I mean, I'll start with our bottoms. Um, Again, you can have a traditional pleat skirt. Or you can take something and cut 16 asymmetrical panels, engineered stripes, kind of a very cool ombre border, and and shimmy out there. There is nobody doing 16 panel asymmetrical pleat skirts, redefining a rather traditional white tennis skirt in the way we do. Um, So, you know, there is a lot of artistic approach that goes into each one. Again, you heard me talk about just um, flattering design lines, the high hip line, the sun kissed going from pink to flamingo uh, color block that wraps around. All these lines are designed to really flatter the woman's body. This is a slight A-line shape with a kickback pleat for just ease and movement. All the built-in shorties have about a two and a half inch inseam. We do, we're we not a high tech company. I won't, I, I won't sit here and, and talk about elastic gripper waistbands and all these flat lock stitches because that's not who we are. I mean, yes, all the fabrics are moisture wicking, antimicrobial, um, you know, performance wear, but uh, we're, we're fast fashion. It's about what's fun, what's fresh, and all about new styles, right? Like every every month, it's a new style. You're not like seeing something over six months rolled out in six colors. That's just for the, the guys below us. <laughs> yeah, I actually was going to hit upon um, one of the my favorite pieces is the, the ombre. And then I do you have the long sleeve with you? Because I think that's a really fun piece. And really does take into consideration the tennis player with those seam lines that you have on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we're always walking that line between sporty and flirty. You know, the ombre is a very soft look. I think we sport it up by kind of creating the body mapping effect with it. Um, and we'll do things like putting mesh inserts down the sleeve uh, for function and fashion. It is a cool look, but the breathability is nice. Um, the more exaggerated armhole creates a narrow shoulder, a more feminine neckline. So it's little tricks like that that make our tops a little different. 
And the idea that you can wear, you know, an ombre top back with the classic skirt that's got the ombre tie back border shows you you can wear these way, you know, wear these garments pretty much a hundred different ways. We spend countless hours on cross merchandising. You know, that's one of the things I pride ourselves on is that you can take an ombre, you can take a color block, you can take a print and really be able to mix it around with many of the bottoms. I mean, that's why the retailers enjoy doing business with us because they're not left with a lot of odds and ends of each one. There's a lot of flexibility and that's one of our assets. Um, So yeah, ombre, to your point, Tiffany, can be handled this way. Um, Here we mix ombre. I don't know if you can tell, but this is an engineered mesh. So the mesh kind of wraps around the body, goes into an ombre. This is very cute back to a midnight navy skirt or a pink skirt. Um, playing with two two tones, you know, it's not an ombre, but the idea that you have the pop pink bra. This is a new length top for us. Our tops are typically around 23 inches long. There's a new length coming in town around 20 and a half, 21 inches. Women don't need all the fabric. Skirt lengths are coming up. Waistlines are coming up. So we're kind of seeing a new trend with uh, the shorter tops coming into play. Again, talk about ombre. We can do engineer printing and have ombre come around as another contrast sporty look. So yes, Tiffany, we love ombre. We try and use it as many times. I think the idea between the, uh, the flamingo and the pink, they really kind of blend together and give it a pop off the Midnight Navy. I'm seeing, since it's called Santa Fe Glow, I'm thinking, Michelle, you lived there for a while so yeah. i'm thinking sunsets and mm-hmm. then new mexico sunset right there yeah no that's totally it. i'm seeing that's i'm it. seeing I mean, it in the collection we, we call this the road map you know <laughs> and it's the hint of the sun-kissed uh point of view with that kind of uh you know tribal geometric kind of like trails and fun and I can smell the roasting green chilies. Every fall in New Mexico, they roast green chilies. And it's just like this intoxicating smell. It's so amazing. I'll have to get some scent to you for like the launch of this because it's so it's like green chili is only in New Mexico. Like people try to copy it or like they're like, no, 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 we have jalapenos. No, it's it's so unique to New Mexico. So anyways, I'm feeling nostalgia. Good for thought. (laughs) Literally. Yes. Great, great. Yeah, so I think that highlights, you know, some of, uh, you know, some of the fashion appeal, you know, and, and a lot about what we do is 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 you want to wear it on the court, right? You want to feel empowered and, and strong. And, and more importantly, for our customers, what do you look like when you're off the court? You know, she's running carpool. I mean, we're, we're realist here, you know, we're, like I said, we're not a high tech company. We're the fashionista, the socialite, you know, that's the niche that we're filling. But, uh, you know, whether it's carpool, whether it's to the mall, lunch, après, um, we have fun throwovers, you know, the idea that you can wear, you know, a fun, lightweight cow neck, you know, this is the new neckline as we transition into pre-fall in lightweight fabrics. You know, you wear this and, uh, when you play tennis, wear your sporty sneakers. And when you're done, throw on your Balenciagas, throw on your Dior slides or, Throw on your wedge. Show those legs, you know. <laughs> I'm trying go. to say. We, unfortunately, <laughs> I've been around uh, the tennis industry long enough to know that in the 80s and 90s, you know, that's what everybody wore when they when they were living their life. And then this weird thing came in yoga, and everyone wanted mm-hmm. to cover their legs, and like everyone covered their legs for 10 years, and they've been working on it. And now I say, let's go back to the mini skirts. You know, make this your lifestyle dressing. Put the leggings away. And, and have fun with your streetwear. You know, wear a wedge, wear a slide, and there's enough cool, active, inspired looks out there coming from, you know, the high end shoe brands that that's who our customer is. You know, yeah. throw them in your bag, and and then you look stylish when you run around town. That's you know. So we see this brand has a lot more legs than just uh, you know something that's worn on the court. That's just one tenth of her day. I love there you this. Go. You're speaking my language, Brad. I do not wear leggings because I'm always like, okay, my legs are one of my assets. I got to show them off. But. Yeah, that's so passe. <laughs> it's so passe. I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm not going to get into the, the sex appeal because that can be a negative innuendo. <laughs> but uh, there's something about it. You know, skirts coming back, mm-hmm. um, the built-in shorties. It, you feel free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you've been contained. You've been confined. You know, it's about this high compression, and no. Not not lucky, you know. Show those legs, easy fitting fabrics, flirty fits, and uh, and a fun attitude. 
Yes. Okay. I love this. We actually came up with some personas that we thought maybe you could show us an outfit that you would dress them in. So <laughs> you've already okay. named you've okay. already named some, but we're thinking maybe she's dropping off her kids at school. She's gonna go play tennis, and then she's gonna run some errands and then pick them up. You know, there's no going home. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's a difficult one. That, that is a difficult one. <laughs> Come I mean, on, for, you got for, those. Well, yeah, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. <laughs> um, we came up with these uh, smock skirts. This mm-hmm. has become a huge hit. Super lightweight performance. This one's got the little pinstripe. But this, again, is a contemporary idea that we brought to sport. We're the first ones bringing this idea. At first, women were like, is that going to make me heavier? Is it going to make it thick around my waist? And it turns out it's compression. They like the way it feels. And if you're, you know, on the younger side, a true fashionista, you'll wear the slightly, you know, shorter crop top with built-in bra with the smock skirt. And this is really speaking to fashion. That's about what's happening in contemporary fashion. If you're talking about the woman that likes to play, you know, hardcore tennis sociably, she's looking for the set. Mm -hmm. You know, she Mm -hmm. likes the idea of the print skirt and maybe a slightly cleaner top. The tie back is nostalgic to the 80s and 90s when we had sets or kits. Mm-hmm. And so here you have the idea of a bold color block with print mixed back with your color block uh, and print skirt. This is more for the true athlete. And then you've got, um, you know, women that just like to wear solids. We have women that simply just say, I only wear solids. This is one of our famous four pleat skirts. Again, this has become a bestseller for us, flippy and fun. And and you compare that. Um, our Midnight Navy is a very sophisticated Navy, almost like Prada-esque. It's very saturated, inky. I love the idea of, of, of dark colors, black on black, navy on navy. Here you've got the little lattice strap, so a little fashion appeal, little mesh inserts. The idea that for that sporty woman that wants to go head to toe or just a little more sexy with the plunging V, um, this is mixed media. You have multi-fabrics. There's three fabrics in here. So the idea that the hardcore typical player wears solids. And, and the woman that... Um, you know, wants to go and and have lunch, you know, she will wear her fun, flippy contemporary skirt. She will throw on the little long sleeve cow neck. She'll throw on her pink Balenciagas and she's off and running. You know, we don't do jackets. We're, we're from Miami. You don't need a jacket, Mm -hmm. but these Apre pieces, these Apre throwovers have been where we see a lot of traction. So, you know, so we see solids for the real hardcore player um, for the traditional player that's been playing, that likes the set, the kit, we offer the kind of that whole head to toe look. And then we have a few apre pieces that are really for that woman that wants to throw something on, doesn't want to be hot, and, and still just wants to be fashionable. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I mean, I, I can keep going. Yeah. We have looks for women that want to wear their own sport bra. You know, they just want an easy shell tank to wear back with a print bottom. Um, but I got to say, print bottoms are, you know, very important for us. And so, you know, it, it, you can wear your solid tank, you can wear your color block, you can wear your head to toe prints. And truthfully, it, it, it depends on the person and their personality. I have designed something for everyone. <laughs> you know, every woman has a, has, a, has a chance to have the lucky and love spirit. And I think that's part of the reason uh, the brand has taken off over the years. Yes. What about like if you were dressing Tiffany and I and we're doubles partners, we want to match, but I'm very loud on the court sometimes with my my look and Tiffany's a little more refined, I would say. <laughs> yeah, I'm more of the solids that you were talking about. <laughs> I, I, well, I like to mix like a solid with with something a little bit more fun. So, but. Yeah. So give us an well, outfit. I, I, well, well, I, well I, 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 I think that you were Prince because you have a beautiful print on right now. <laughs> and so I can, you know, being that lucky in love is Prince and being that we want everyone to be seen on the court. Um, of course, I'm going to drive you to all of our engineered prints. So, you know, if you're looking for a cleaner look, the idea of a head to toe paired look, you know, maybe even with a navy skirt. You know, something cleaner like this, Mm -hmm. where you do have a little print inspiration. You do have a hint of the ombre trend happening. You're wearing a solid navy skirt, but it does have a little fashion appeal to it. I can see that working for you, Tiffany. And Michelle, (laughs) uh, you seem to be all about color. You know, I wouldn't be scared. You know, and and you seem pretty progressive. I wouldn't be scared to put you in our crop top. I wouldn't be scared to put you. And when I say crop, don't don't let it mislead you because crop is the trend. 
but crop is hitting here. Mm -hmm. And we just took the inspiration of the trend and just made our longer tops slightly shorter. So it's not about showing your midriff. I saw you kind of cringe for a second, but (laughs) it's not about that. You know, it's not about that. But that seems to be, you know, where the fashion progressive looks are going. Of course, I can see you in a little cow neck. You know, I I see the long sleeves are, Mm -hmm. are, are every day, all day. The fabrics are lightweight. And, um, uh, and obviously pink works for you. Thank you. <laughs> so I definitely would I see you in that long sleeve cow neck and, uh, and a fun print bottom. Awesome. I love that. I was going to mention there's all, you guys have the awesome girls collections too. So there's oh, yeah. the potential to do a mommy and me look. Girls is girls is on fire. And, and I really attribute it to some of our marketing efforts. We really have a great ambassador program dressing some of these girls around the world. And, and we're capturing that in our Instagram. And these girls are like so happy to be involved. You're, they obviously are empowered. You know, we started this brand as a little girl's brand. It is our DNA. You know, and it's ironic because although girls is doing amazing, women's is 92% of the business. Mm-hmm. Um, but the girls seems to be a more, a, a funner, a funner story. Uh, the girls uh, like the idea of the youthful look. We have youthful looks. You know, we were doing the emoji when the emojis were hot and, you know, we, we, we'll do denim when denim's hot and we'll do Liberty florals when they're hot. And, you know, we really try and give the little girls what they want to, uh, what, what they want to wear. But then there's also this kind of like pre-tween gal that's, you know, 11, 12, and she's in between. She doesn't want to wear the juvenile stuff anymore. And she's just entering the women's market. You know, and our women's extra small, you know, fits an 11, 12 year old. You know, we are a contemporary fit. Um, so our, our kids' business is on fire, you know, literally on fire. Um, and, and I think, you know, you guys as partners are a big key to it. You know, you guys put up the best selection of styles that they can't get anywhere else. And, um, and we see it growing, you know, is, is it a margin builder? No. Is it fun? Yes. <laughs> you know, the, the little girls and they'll grow into lucky and love, you know? So, uh, we believe in the kids. It's fun because we design kids' collections and we say that that should be a woman's collection, you know? And so the kids are always on our mind. And and the most important thing is for these little girls to feel empowered and feel special when they're wearing Lucky in Love. And I know they are because they're posting and posting and posting and it's <laughs> hilarious, you know? But uh, we've definitely got our arms around the little girls and we start at extra, extra small. So, you know, three, four years old, we, we call it grandma bait. The grandmas walk by those <laughs> colors and those little styles and that little mini skirt. And it makes it very hard to uh, to pass up, you know, so fun, you know, and we don't compromise design, a lot of mesh inserts, little kickback pleats. We'll take the ideas that we have in women's and bring it to kids. You know, we'll play with mesh, but it's a little more modest. It's not quite as plunging. We'll play with the active lines. The idea of the tie back, they can wear it open or closed. They can make it as cute or fitted as they want. You know, the whole preppy look is happening you know, bringing the little collar into the sport with a little flutter pleat uh, cap sleeve. The idea that traditional white tennis is kind of being redefined, classic borders redefined with the ombre and ethnic kind of geometric prints. We have a very big European business and they're definitely more modest. They want more sleeve coverage, more coverage. So giving ombres, but, you know, definitely not skipping out on fashion because they want more modest dressing. And of course, our little bestseller, every little girl should have this in six colors. You know, this is stuff they not only wear on the court, but these girls, you know, little girls, I have a daughter. I love when she would do cartwheels and I knew she had a shorty on. So Mm -hmm. I call this, you know, everyday wear at this point. It's just, you know, has a tennis feel, a little fashion appeal with little knots on back. Again, we look at what's happening in contemporary and bring it to sport. Textures are important. We have variegated rib textures, lightweight ribs. Um, if it is lightweight, we do things like put a little shelf bra on the front. So for modesty issues, we're aware of that. Little tricks that have made our kids' business kind of uh, top of the game. But uh, yeah, the whole mommy and me thing is has become a buzz. It's mommy and me. It's grandma and me. It's entry level. So uh, we seem to have embraced the woman fashionista coming from uh, the youth of three, four years old. I'm not putting a cap on the age because I'm always surprised when I get these Instagram feeds and posts of who is wearing it. And I'm always flattered. I'm like, oh my God, you know, because you can see the smile on their face. It's a spirit that they feel when they're wearing Lucky in Love. So it's a little more than just fashion uh, for the game of tennis. 
fun. Yeah, I love that. And it, like just talking to you, like just ex- you just feel confident like wearing, putting these on or even ordering an outfit and being like so excited to like wear it the first time. And I feel like especially in tennis, confidence is something we always need. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, the colors and the prints wreak confidence. Yes. You know? uh, <laughs> yeah. So you guys have been amazing partners. The business continues to grow. I mean, fortunately for all of us, we uh, we were at the right place at the right time in a, in a, in a dismal period. You know, COVID came. and um, But as a result, everyone started to play tennis and golf. And tennis took off. And, uh, and we were positioned right to have fashion that made people feel special again. So amazing. Do you have any yeah. other things you want to hit on, Tef? Uh, no, I just, uh, I guess we'll have, it looks like we have both the women's and the girls' collections. So those mommy and me outfits could come from Santa Fe Glow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, you have the kids that can transition into the women's sizing and they can all still feel like there's something you know, for them. Um, it's a be an important uh, team season group. We're going into league play. And we know a lot of women are, you know, counting on Santa Fe. And, you know, again, we give everything to everybody. Um, if, if we have to, uh, we're so cognizant of the team league play. Mm-hmm. Um, we have women that say, I love your 12 inch short skirt, but God, you know, I just have, I'm taller. And so we'll offer the same thing in 13 inches. So we really, when I say we have something for everybody, mm-hmm. Yes, we're over skewed. Yes, we go bend backwards, but <laughs> it's those tricks that uh, you know help us get to the top. And and we control all of our manufacturing. We you know I, I, it's probably important to say that everything we produce, or ninety eight percent of what we produce, is manufactured in this hemisphere. And I think it's an important topic that I don't touch on too long because I don't get political. But ninety eight percent of our fabrics are coming out of California, you know, and we're and we're producing it in Central America. Um, and we control all the manufacturing process throughout. And that's, you know, a, a major feat within itself. Uh, you know, all the pipeline disruptions we've had, and it's been a disaster. But because we've had all the controls we've had, and we're in this hemisphere, that's also been an advantage for Lucky and Love. We've been able to service the business and the customer a lot better than some of our competitors. So not as a fashion good, but the service aspect of the business is, is on par. Nice. That is amazing. And I'm glad you brought that up. I think that is a huge plus. You that know? Is. And again, I don't, I don't promote it. I don't like to get involved with the politics behind it, but I am happy to say that. No, that's right. good to know. And we get a lot of questions about mm-hmm. products from everything in the tennis industry. So it's nice to hear that and be able to share that information. Yeah, there's one small capsule we don't do here. Other than that, every print skirt, everything you see here is, is made in this hemisphere with fabric from U.S. Nice, nice. Great. Um, I have a quick question before we let you go. And I do want to mention oh, come on. also... This is fun. Let's keep going. Oh, okay. I thought you were Ask busy to go into the design more. Okay, yeah, good. I got you. <laughs> He's like, no, I got a heart out. We got to go. <laughs> End. No. Um, no, this first, is my pleasure, you guys. Thank oh, you. We, lo- I, we love this. I, I love it's this. Fun. I could talk about tennis, gear, clothes, designs. Oh, it's amazing. Um. I want to mention first to our listeners and our viewers that we are going to do a giveaway for a Santa Fe Glow outfit. Oh, great. Yes, yes. So we're going to encourage everyone to comment which outfit, like which pieces do you need in your life and where are you planning on wearing your Santa Fe Glow outfit and like bonus points if it's on the tennis court and somewhere else because I can see myself going, yeah, yeah, like happy hour. And now I need to buy some Balenciagas. (laughs) (laughs) I remember when we came out with the fringe skirt. We came out with a fringe skirt, you know, a few years ago, and it was really fashion, you know, laser cut, uh, lightweight woven fringe. And I remember 80% of the women were like, am I, do I have to wear that on the court? You know, do I have to? I mean, I want to wear that with my black high heels and, you know, and and that's when I know we did our job. You know, we brought fashion to to the sport and, and, and technical fabrics and, um, it was very expensive and it was a bestseller. So it goes to show you if women want fashion, they're going to get, you know, they're going to pay for it, you know? And, 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 and then that's what this is. This is a fashion game. You know, look at go to your website. Look at how much we're (laughs) offering every month. I promise you, you can't get bored looking at Lucky in Love. That's very true. But that brings me to my my question is, what do you do when you're in a rut? Because you're designing so much and you're putting out so many cool things. What do I do when I'm in a rut? I'm going to tell you, I don't 
get into a rut. Oh my God. I love what I do. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I, I thought you were to ask me, I, I figured you may ask me, you know, if I get burnt out, what does that look like? You yeah. Know? And it's funny. I just uh, bought a new house and, you know, my wife is like, ah, oh, you know, I want to get this color here and art there. And I said, no, everything's white. Everything in my house is white. I don't want to, I said, when I come to my office, I'm blasted with color and prints all day long. There is nothing that I can live with at my home that is going to stimulate me or have me excited every day coming to that piece of art. So um, I, I, I love what I do and I'm, I won't pat myself on the back, but I'm pretty creative. I'm pretty clever. You know, I am the backbone of this company. Um, I do have a dynamic design team that I work with day in, day out. We have a print design team that works just on prints with me. I have a design art, you know, artists and designers that work with me just on designs. I have a technical team that, you know, we're always working on the technical aspects of design to make them better and uh, more efficient. But I, I don't get burnt out. I don't. I love what I do. It becomes, you know, a lot sometimes. My grandfather always said it, if you can't get it done in 24 hours, then wake up an hour earlier. So, <laughs> you know, I, uh, yeah, I get my sleep and if I, um, and we're, we're close to the Bahamas, truthfully. And if I need to zip out, you know, it's a 45 minute flight to Eleuthera or Bimini and, you know, a weekend reset typically does it. But nice. I have a beautiful family. I have a beautiful company. We're anti-corporate. You come here, you do what you got to do. It's a feel good. So it's not a high stress environment. We, we are demanding, but um, I don't think I've ever asked anyone to work overtime. You know, I don't, it's just not in our wheelhouse. Um, you know, if your people are happy, you know, we're happy and uh, we celebrate birthdays. Like everybody's a family member here and it's just a feel good. We're a family business. You know, we're 40, 50 years in the tennis industry. I represent five generations in the apparel business. So um, I guess I'm kind of living the legacy, yeah. passing on the legacy. You know, now my son's in the warehouse working <laughs> and uh, that's how I grew up, you know, sleeping in rolls of fabric, sitting on the sewer's lap and, you know, really learning the business firsthand. You know, I had the fortune, I was fortunate to work at credit department, peace goods department and, uh, you can take any master's course and not get that, you know, nobody teaches you how to yield and, and cost and there's no formal schooling for that. Um, but no, I, um, I, I wake up every day ready to go. I love it. I love what I do. We, we're my, I'm in a dynamic environment. My building where I, is the building my grandfather built in the fifties. Um, my design room was his office. It was my mom's office in the eighties for for many years so i kind of like tell people there's like a little halo <laughs> around this building there's a little <laughs> halo around around this space and a little bit of luck you know yes. we got a lot of luck and my grandfather said you, you create your own luck it doesn't just happen but yeah burnout isn't in my vernacular it doesn't even exist love you that know? that's great so I wish I had a better answer. No, I wish that I had was, a better answer. That was great because in my notes I was like, in parentheses, do you even feel burnout? Uh, apparently, you don't. So I love that. That's awesome. No, I mean, I, I mean, I, in all transparency, I will knock down a drink or two just to take the edge <laughs> off. But that's my, that's my, you know. But but ninety percent of the tennis players are like that. I yeah, yeah. We did a cocktail skirt. We did a skirt with martinis on it or something, uh -huh. just as a little conversational because conversationals in the 80s were big and Nicole Miller and all that. And so we said, let's bring back a little co cocktail conversational. And it was by far the best selling skirt we've had in a long time. So I think I'm aligned with my customer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is a social component to this. You can't deny, you know, we were hoping yeah. to have mimosas during this. But <laughs> they yeah, said no. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know how, you know, I don't know how uh, pickleball impacts this. You know, I know, you know, people are wearing tennis apparel to pickleball and all that, but that's also a beautiful thing happening because I really see the social component coming back. You know, pickleball really has a beautiful social component to it. And I think that's healthy for all racket sports. You know, we are an all racket sport brand. Um, and I think that's just healthy for everybody. So it's nice to see the social component coming back, you know, hang out at the club a little more, have a drink, you know, everyone's used to, you know, playing and leaving, going and running. It's like, it's not what it was. You know, the game is a social game. Let's bring it back. Yeah. You know, yeah. everybody, if we learned anything from COVID, it's like, take time to enjoy each other, play a little and, and relax and, and look good, feel good. Yeah. That's yeah, what that's we're cool. about. Nice. So you'll have to come to Miami and see it from our point of view. You know, the world seems to be buying the vibrance, the color, um, you know, the inspiration comes from the ocean. It comes from the sunsets. It comes from the citrus. Uh, it's all around me. And that's the feel good that we're passing along to you guys.
Nice. That's great. Well, I was thinking for the, just to end this, maybe you could drop us a lucky and love quote. I know you guys have so many and you've already referenced some great ones from your grandfather, but give us something The one to that end. comes top of mind, you know, because we live full is to make every day your birthday and make every night New Year's Eve. Yes. You know, you've heard me say it before. <laughs> and if you're living, you know, life celebrating, uh, you know, I probably took it a little too far, my grandfather say, you know, he's a, <laughs> but uh you're here supposedly one time let's make it let's make it a good one nice so, uh, and then pop yeah, the champagne yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i love yeah, it yeah yeah i didn't say it but yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no problem celebrating life together absolutely you know that's that's the fun part that's what this brand's about you want something edgier hardcore competitive you know go get it but this is about a spirit and fun and, and color. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much, Brad, for talking us through the collection and sharing so much with us. This was so fun. I hope it helped, you know? I don't know if I gave you the inspo that you wanted or the direction and design, but uh, this is a bleep on the radar. We do this pretty much every hour on the hour with new designs, new fashion. <laughs> so anytime you want to do this, let me know. And uh, it's always good to put fresh fashion out there and, and put a little story behind it. For That's sure. Great. We will probably take you up on that. And we're excited for people to get this collection in their mail and on them on their bodies and on the court and show it off and just yeah. kind of... Yeah, we had a great reaction. This was a very strong collection. So uh, it's good because you're hearing a lot of concern about the economy and people need something to feel good. So... Go Definitely. for it, guys. Yeah, let, let's get <laughs> some ladies, outfits. Go for it, ladies. Yeah, feel yeah. fresh, feel fun. All right, guys, be good. Thank you, thank you. 